name is Bayo Adedeje. Um, I'm the group CEO of Wakanao.com. Uh, Wakanao.com is a travel company, um, travel tech company across West Africa, the UK and the UAE. Um, and I, I lead the business from making sure that number one, uh, we take care of our employees, of all the people that work for us, so that we can continue to serve the customer better and we continue to look for ways to innovate for the customer. That's what I do. In the UK and the UAE, we're still seeing customers travel. Yes, we're seeing the price of ticket actually go up in local currency in all countries. But the impact is commensurate to the income being earned in those countries. So, so income is up um, and um, travel, cost of travel is up. So the full impact on travel is not being felt. Uh, when you really think about it, customer pass passenger count is up uh, more to flat because again, those markets are more matured markets. Um, revenue travel is kind of over uh, post COVID. We're seeing people go to new destinations. We're seeing people travel more now after post COVID, especially uh, 2022, 2023, and we're seeing growth. But when you come to Africa, where we have 10 entities, um, the story is slightly different is as the price of travel has increased, we've not seen commensurable income increases that is becoming difficult and is becoming increasingly difficult for customers to travel, um, be it local, be it, be it international. Um, the price of aviation fuel has gone up. Um, locally, in a lot of countries in Africa, the airlines cannot repatriate funds. Um, funds are trapped. Um, the airlines are considering canceling flights or bringing smaller planes to reduce their exposure, their local exposure to, to repatriation of, of, of their currency because again, uh, most transactions are done in USD or and if the airline is playing for, for aircraft, they're paying in USD. So again, the, the impact on customers becomes significant in terms of affordability of travel. Um, I think now I can use this word and can use it clearly. Uh, for a lot of customers, we know that the art is willing but the pocket is not, it's not, it's not cooperating. And that's the current challenge we have. In Africa, what we've seen is the new trend is that people are traveling to it for experiences. And, you know, think about AFCON. The tickets to the last concluded AFCON out of a lot of markets was, was double digits, um, double digit dollars. What we've seen Africans do is the ability to combine um, things together they combine um, visiting family, visiting friends. They co they're able to combine that with also having experiences locally. And experiences starting to play a bigger, a, a bigger trend. What we've done at Waka now is, number one, start to think in the future. We launched a brand called Onboard.com as a way to kind of start selling experiences to our customers to go experience the world. Uh, Waka now.com itself is becoming a more experienced driven. But we just recently started focusing on accommodation, again, on hotels, because we understand that as you travel the world and as you see the world, you need a place to sleep and rest your head. And, and that is the things that we are doing to make sure that we incorporate those things, those things that you love into the sh traveling experience, into your shopping experience on the wakanao.com, where you can buy a concert ticket through Waka events, and you can travel to that concert through Wakanao and you can go to see the world and experience the world. For, for me, uh, as the leader of the business, I, I, I can't say it any other way, but how do we focus more on the customer? How do we help the customer see the world? Um, Wakana has, has typically been a B2C business, meaning that we focus on consumers. So basically our website is available for consumer, um, uh, for consumers to buy. They log into the website, we're transparent on pricing. You can see the price that we can sell it to you. Um, and we're transparent on service, we run a 24 hour call center and do those things. But what we've realized is that there are customers in other segments that our website might not necessarily just talk to and what our focus is how do we design or redesign or re-engineer our business to actually go after those customers that our our website our storefront today does not necessarily appeal to for instance corporate um you know i'm letting the cat out of the back we're, we're, out of the bag where we're launching a full corporate booking tool um, as a way to kind of start talking to corporate customers, start offering that solutions that we have. We understand that corporates buy 
slightly differently than the regular B2C customer, that is the regular customer, how do we service them? You know, we're gonna launch a white label solution this year where we sell white label solution to people that want to have their own websites because we understand that people buy travel from who they trust, who they know, and how do we then get that into the hands of people that don't have the money to go build a big technology infrastructure. They probably buy it from us directly or indirectly, but how do we give them a platform by which they can sell? That's why we launch our, our white label program. We've also launched our B2B program as a way to go out in the market, draw athletes for people that want to sell to their social network, their church, their mosque, their, their religious people to sell to them. Deals becomes even more important. Um, being able to provide the customer the best deal every single time they come to you, at least majority of the time. What can I focus this year is to go and search the corners of the earth and if we can get a cheaper for a dollar cheaper anywhere else, we want to service that to our customers. Our goal is to give our customers the absolute best, absolute best in every way we can find it. Number one, we need to be available to our customers. Number two, you cannot be a boss of the guy paying you. The guy paying you is boss, no matter the amount. He's boss, and you must treat him alike. Um, I was treating as such, rather. Um, number three is your people. You've got to take care of your people because your people are the ones taking care of the customer. And as leaders, um, and for every leader listening to this, I help you pick this up, that you must take care of your people because your people is a representation of the company and they're the ones taking care of the customer. Our business is built for African by Africans. And what that means is that we understand the African shopping pattern. We understand how the customer shops, we understand how they pay, we understand what the customer needs. And our ability to model our business after that is what makes us different. We're not a one size fits all. We're not trying to um, go after the global market, at least not yet. Um, our goal is to first conquer, the Af to conquer Africa. And what that means is to provide solutions to African customers. That's why Wakana we sell on WhatsApp, and Wakana we sell on Instagram, and Wakana we sell on Twitter, and what kind of we sell on every single channel. We understand that the customer likes to conversate when they want to buy. We understand that conversation can never be ignored. We understand that Africa is built on relationship and Africans like to leverage relationships. We understand that the customer likes to argue for price. We understand that sometimes they like to talk to someone to get a feel of comfort. We understand that money is hard to come by in Africa. Therefore, you need to be empathetic with the customer when they buy and you need to create a physical presence to make sure the customer can interface with you. And that's what sets us apart, is we are, we are a business that is built with understanding of our customer base, of our people, and being able to model after them, to take care of them. Questions around leadership principle always just reminds me to, number one, we're gonna ask seven leadership principles, I think for the concept of this conversation, I'll talk about five. Our number one principle that we're now is customer focus. And the customer becomes his king, is, is our master. They're the ones, they're the reason why we open the store. And for every entrepreneur and everyone listening to me, you cannot forget that. The customer is number one. And our work now, a customer focus. Number two is we innovate with speed. I remember when we launched video buying, you know, it sounded like a great idea, but it didn't work. And, but we went to market quickly. We, we found out that it didn't work and then we pulled it back quickly. You know, we just launched in app calling. You know, um, I remember the, the team coming to me and saying that, look, how do we make it easier for customers to reach us? Uh, how do we make sure that our app becomes more than just an app that they can use it to communicate with us? Um, and then we launched in app calling where you can actually download our mobile app and from the mobile app, you can call Waka now for free. Of course, you need the internet, right? Amazing product. And our ability to innovate those innovations with speed is what makes us different and what makes us continue to lead. Number three is insisting on the highest standard. It's by not compromising standard. It's by not compromising behavior. It's, not, it's by not accepting it is just okay. It's by ensuring that we think beyond just okay and we build a business 
that insist on the higher standard. And even if we fail at the standard, we go back to it and we try to do it right. Number four is our ability to not just think about today, but think about the day after tomorrow's tomorrow. It's to think long term, to think long term. We call it long term for us. To think about the sustainability of the decisions that we make today. And finally, is to build a business that we just don't measure out, we don't measure input, we don't measure effort, but we measure ourselves by the results that we deliver. And we call that result is everything. Everything. And that's what we are. For, for customers, number one, I want to tell you that Wakana is here to service you. Wakana is here to serve you. We understand that things are tough now. We understand that prices are high. We understand that, you know, we've built solutions to help you with it. Uh, PaceMosmo allows you to lock down prices <coughs> early enough. Um, PaceMosmo allows you to lock down prices early enough and pay in installment before you travel. That way you're not paying, you're not buying that ticket last minute. That's a good way to kind of save some money. Our ability to do, buy some level of insurance for your travel and sell that insurance to you is also critical as you go into this new region. We are available to you and transparent with you. We understand if you have a travel agent. We get it. Make a book in our account and see. Try us. My message to you is that we are here to service you. We are here to serve you. Be you a corporate client, be you a business traveler, be you a personal traveler, an entrepreneur, be you in the corners of Africa. We have inventory across the world to service you. No matter where you want to go, check Wakana. Check our fares. Check what we have to offer. We're about to launch multiple other payment options, including every single payment option we can get our hands on. We want to enable on Wakana.com. We are partnered with so many payment platforms to offer you payment solutions that are easy for you to collect, be it mobile money, be it direct transfer, be it card payments, be it auto crypto payments, anything that is enabled in your country, we have it for you. And our goal is to service you, is to take care of you. In Africa, we have taken out the, 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 the mantra of, of getting every hotel in Africa online at our hotel business to make sure that we have the solid inventory that we can service you anywhere in the world you want to go, but specifically in Africa. Be it apartments, be it hotels, be it shoplets, anything you want on Wakana. Our ability to provide you cars if you need a ride, you need a taxi, anywhere in the world, we are also available for you on our website. Visa services at everything that we do. Our job, the reason why we're here, is because of you. Our job is to take care of you. So try us. And we are always open. We don't close. Waka now. Let's go.